what is up guys welcome to another video i know it's been a while i think it's been a month and a half at most if that maybe a month and a week but we finally get to do something to the 240 i mean i am very excited i went to harbor freight and picked up an engine stand finally so now we can start working on the motor it is back here hopefully covered okay it's still covered might be pretty rusty Ugh, definitely rusty but i got a sandblaster gun which is in the house i could Go get in a minute and got some baking soda put that in sandblast it get one thing done at a time i guess so first thing to do is have a spider on there we'll kill it open up the engine stand and see what that is we'll build the motor over there so we can work on it in front of the garage not back here so i can use a sandblast or sandblast again but take out the pistons first or whatever else that's in there so i can get it to bare block so i'm gonna get the rest of the crap and we'll be over there all righty Got that opened or oh, unlocked. And this is what we have. I'm sure we might need these depending on how frustrated I get. Well, this is a thousand pound engine stand and the motor I can lift up myself. So I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to put on. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but probably should have grabbed my tool set to tighten everything up, but we'll see how to put it together. But. Right here, I don't know if there's supposed to be a bolt to hold this, or just like to adjust it. I'm not 100% sure, I guess I could read the directions, but I'll just pull that off. So I just gotta put that piece that holds the motor in there. I gotta figure out how to do that. Yeah, I used the directions, yeah. Ended up using them anyways, but it's all good. I did figure out the bottom piece. It's just a bolt right here. You just flip it under. There's no hole in this part, just a hole in this one. I guess it just tightens it. I don't know what that is. But yeah, so I mean, all you gotta do is put that together, slide that in. I'm pretty sure I put that together on the motor and then put the motor on there. So we'll go from there. All right, so I got the motor right here. Tightened everything except these wheels. I'll tighten those in a second. I need a little wrench to get in there, but everything else is all tightened. I'm gonna figure that out. I just gotta figure out how to put <clears throat> these on here and figure out where that goes. And Forgot how to put that on there, and I didn't realize how much was in here. The piston, pistons are still in here. Got the motor on the stand. Took off these screws so far. Just trying to make sure I put them in order. Trying to take them off one piece at a time. See what I can get going. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just taking off. I know you have to keep the pistons in the same order you take them out. So I'm probably gonna mark them for now, and then pinhole them. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, in that order. So I know which way I'm putting this on. Making progress. So I'm just kind of guessing as I go. Like I'm still learning, obviously. So I'm gonna take the pistons off one by one. I'm gonna make sure they're in order. Like I said, they have to be in order. The same way you take them out, be the same way you put them in. So I'll take that out next. I try to take this piece off, but it's not coming off. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna start taking things out and we'll go from there. As I was gonna take out the pistons, I did get one out right here. And I also don't have my stand thingy. I don't know where the heck I put it. I got one of the pistons out right here. It's pretty dirty. I mean, I don't know if it's in good condition or not, but it looks pretty spanky to me. I mean, you're supposed to catch the pistons when they fall right when you get them out from under there, and it dropped faster than I, I hit it too hard. Now I got to get something that probably these, these top pieces off right here. There are these pieces right there because that one's this piston, so I got to make sure to like in order or something. Shit. Sorry, I'm just gonna put that one like right there. That's not an order. They do have a number on them. I think that was number three. But anyways, I just gotta try that little piece off each one because they don't come out. But so far, that's pretty gnarly. There's this piece was stuck on the piston that holds it together on the crankshaft. And so what I did, I just rotated it to the side, hit the piston out a little bit, and I kept this intact or this apart, separated, and I took this off. So worked out nicely. So hopefully I'm going to try to figure out how to take the crankshaft off and we'll go from there. I messaged one of my, bu oh shit, let's just start. So I messaged one of my buddies and he recommended to smack this part super hard with the mallet because it's going to be on there super tight, he says, after you remove all the main bolts, which I'm pretty sure I did. So I apparently got to smack the crap out of this part and this should come off and then I can be able to take the crankshaft off. off. This is one of the hardest things to get off to take the crankshaft off. We'll have these two bolts right here. Take this piece off, which I don't know if I can get to these two bolts. So we'll see how that goes. 
That was a heavy son of a gun, and just like that, we're down to bare block. Got it down to bare block. <coughs> oh, excuse me, drinking that blueberry Dr. Pepper. Anyways, my goal is to sandblast it and then get a prep kit, kit and clean it. So I would sandblast it today, but sun's already almost down, and I just don't feel like doing it today, even though I really want to, but you know, got other things to take care of. But I will make a separate video sandblasting this down really soon because I have the sandblaster gun already. And I'm gonna use baking soda because I saw in the Jimmy Oaks video that baking soda works just as well and stuff yellow. So I'm trying to do a budget build on the motor at least to like get everything on property. The best I have my abilities. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have people help me because I can't do this all by myself. But got the crankshaft out, whatever that thing he's out. With some help of my guy, my friend Z, Instagram. Who knows Instagram? I'll drop in the link just because he helped me out. And then I got the pistons out from a guy who lives somewhere over there. I don't know if he has Instagram, but pistons out. They're all right there. I don't know if they're healthy or not. They look fine to me. So I don't know. I got to clean everything up, get everything all spiffy. Other than that, put it down the bare block. Next video will be sandblasting it. If you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to upload more. I mean, once I get, I've already said this in another video, but at the moment I still have a laptop. So once I do get the laptop, these videos will all be uploaded once a week because I have a couple of videos already, just not edited and set up, but they're all on my phone. So once I get that ready, we'll be on a roll.